Hi guys, welcome to my channel Priya Sadi Dev and today we have a brand new tutorial for you and in this tutorial we're gonna build a custom picker for uh, your app, uh, iOS application and for your Swift and Swift UI project. This is gonna be so cool and so nice so don't miss that. Uh, you can personalize it as you want and we have a photo picker uh, that we're gonna integrate it in our within our Swift UI view as the avatar user avatar photo. So don't miss this uh, tutorial. This miss this. Uh, don't miss this uh, Swift UI tutorial. And yep. Uh, I will show you the brief uh, showcase of our project uh, in this tutorial. Uh, but before all that, make sure to subscribe my channel, Priyasad with Dev. You can hit the subscribe button uh, below the video. And make sure to like the uh, video, share this video with your friends, and hit the bell for the notification. And also feel free to uh, write me down any comments, any suggestion, any question or any opinion of this uh, tutorial for this tutorial in the comment section. And don't worry about the code and the assets. I will put a link to my GitHub repository for this project in the description. So check the description. Also, I will put a link to SwiftUI documentation if you need it. And yep, I think that's it. Before we jump to the coding, I will show you the uh, uh, final view of the project that we're gonna build. So here, in uh, as you can see on my screen, uh, we have a background uh, photo here that you don't, uh, uh, you can't customize it right now, but you can implement it. The uh, uh photo picker controller into it but in uh, today i want to make things simpler uh, simple so i don't uh build this but if you click on if you tap or touch or click on the uh avatar here you can select the photo here as you can see there are just six photos in my gallery but if uh, in the actual phone you can see all the photos so I choose one of them and then you can see it replaced the uh, user avatar. So here you can choose the, your profession here and engineer. Yep, that's good and smooth. So here and we have the age here and you can uh, you can select your age as you want to know. This is not the picture built in that, uh, that built in Swift UI. We just built a custom picker for our uh, project here and custom photo picker here. So enough talking. Let, uh, let me just jump to the code. So here I just open my Xcode and I press Command Shift and N to create a new project here. So let me just, yep. I select iOS and then the app here. So custom picker, yep. And hit the create button. So Swift will create a new blank project for us that has a content view file here. And yep. So first of uh, first of all, I will copy on my assets here. So here I have two assets in the assets.xassets assets folder uh, image and uh, I think yep and uh, here I have downloads so uh, here we have the user avatar and here we have the background image you can replace the, them with uh, whatever images you want so now uh, we want to create the project using MVVM architecture so MVVM stands for model that represents our data structure a view model that is a bridge between a model and view and has all the logic uh, for us uh, and the view that represents the UI. So, uh, yep, this is it. So, we create a new group in the Xcode. So, 
uh, common option in N model. So here uh, I say I select the search file and this is a picker data and here it goes. So I want to just copy and paste our model here because this is not uh, much uh, important. So here we have a struct of picker data and we have two static uh, variable here, professions and ages. So you can add as many as you want. So engineer, data artist, game developer and so on and ages from 18 to 35. Uh, this is hard coded, but you can also uh, connect your backend to it, uh, your database to it, and so on and so forth. So this is our uh, model. So let me just create a new group. A uh, new group here, so view model. That is the Swift file, yep. Picker view model let me just see. model model yep i need to create so here we import the swift ui and let me just see okay so here we have a struct for picker View model. This is the uh, confirmed to observable object. That uh, whenever our published variables change, it uh, give a uh, given order to the view to change respectively. So we have a bunch of published variable for uh, first of all selected profession. Equal to I say blogger, then add published variable, then selected age, selected age, I say join age, for example. Then we have the image, so published variable image, this is the image an optional image and uh, after that we have published variable for is showing photo equals false and after that we have published variable input image type of UI Image and this is optional also. So, uh, ah, this is class. Sorry about that. So, <clears throat> after that, we have a function for load image. So, load image, and in the, this, uh, we have guard let uh, input image equal to input image if the input image exists else return it so image equal to image and we pass the our input image as an ui image as you can see here so here it goes and we have another function here so is showing photo toggle and is showing photo talk. So that's it. So we have uh, five published variables, as you can see, selected profession, selected age for our selection. The image will, uh, would be our uh, selected image here. So it's showing photo is for whenever I click on this uh, and I want to select a photo here. An input image is that uh, we uh, uh, see it later, but is for the uh, images that we choose. And here uh, uh, we choose an image here and pass to this function and pass to the view. So 
This is our view model. Let me just go to the uh, uh, create a new group here. So comment option and n name utils. Oh, let me just. Yep. Nope. Let me just see. Yep. No. And yep. Good model. New model. I think so. New save file here. Naming this the picker uh, view or photo picker view. So photo picker view and we import uh, we don't want to import our the foundation we import we import the swift ui and then we import the photo ui let me just see photo ui here it goes so we have a strike and we have the image picture and this is gonna be a ui view controller representable here it goes we have a binding variable here for image and this is a ui image and this is optional we bind our image to it so we have a function for making uh, make ui view controller so uh, we pass uh, the context to it and it returns a ph picker view controller here so we define our config so variable of config equal to ph uh, picker configuration here <clears throat> yep and we pass the filter to it so ph uh, config dot filter as you can see you can uh, select all the files you want so uh cinematic videos depth effect photos images live photos panoramas screen recording and so on and so forth i choose the images here and we have a let's picker let's picker equal to ph picker uh, view controller and for the configuration we pass just the config here to it and we want to uh, set the delegate so delegate equal to context dot coordinator and uh, the last we pass it uh, we return the picture so and then we want to uh, create the update. So update UI view controller and we just define it. We don't uh, use it in our code. So after that, we make the coordinator here. So uh, this returns the coordinator. So coordinator. Yep. And here we pass the coordinator. And uh, we pass self here. So we want to create the coordinator class. So class coordinator and confirm to NS object. Then ph uh, picker view controller delegate. Yep. And here we have a variable of parent type of image picker then we want to initialize it so we pass the parent and then we don't want to pass the parent to the uh, initializer here <clears throat> so if I uh, if I delete that I, I, I must have the parent here to it and then self but I don't want to do that, so let me just create it. So here it goes, and here we have a function for our picker. 
And here we have to pass the picker dot dismiss uh, animated true. Then we have the guardlet. Just guard let provider equal to a result that we pass here. Type of ph picker result results. And we pass the first, and then we pass the image provider. Uh, let me just see. Result, yeah, item provider. Item provider. And then we have the provider dot catalog object of class UI image dot cell here. And here else, we return it. So after that, we can use our provider. <clears throat> and uh, yep, provider. You see provider dot uh, load object of class. Yep, of class. Again, UI image dot self. And then uh, in the uh, way it says here, so here, Vic and so, and then we have image and error, um, and say in. So here we run a dispatch q.main.async, and run an async, uh, asynchronous code. So here, if Let's image to call the image as UI image. Then we pass it to our parents. So self parent dot image equals the image. So this is it. This is our custom photopic image picker here. So let me just go to our content view here. So content view. And then let's create our view. So here I want just to create and strike final view. And this is a view type here. And here we have Z stack. So let me just pass it to final view here. And I create add state object here for our uh, view model. So I state object variable view model. Here, this is the picker view model equal to, sorry about that, equal to picker instance of picker view model. And then here we have at observable of observed object variable view model and this type of a picker view model so here i just pass the view model and the instance of view model here so we are good to go and then we have our z stack here let the yep come let's load so we have a color but black that ignore safe area so here we have background color here. So after that, we have to create the image. And uh, we pass our image name here. This is resizable. Yep. <coughs> Sorry about that. Scale to fit, fill. And then we have the frame it with 500 and height 500. Yep. And we have to clip shape it for a circle. And then we have the overlay um, for the content. We have the circle dot stroke. And we have dot white and line red would be five. Yep, we have it. 
and here we have to make it uh, go to the top so we uh, set an offset to it minus 350 yeah good after that we have a real stack for our uh, for our uh, user out of view, so here we have the stack, we have image here, we specify the download image, here it goes, we have a resizable, and scale to fit, and here we have view model, and this is optional, uh, but image and image is optional. If the image exists, this is a resizable and then scale but scale to fill. And then here we have the on tab gesture. So for the on tab gesture, we have view model dot is showing photo dot file. And yep, I think I missed something here or not. No. So here, whenever I click on it, the uh, is showing photo toggle function works for us. So here it goes. And here we have the shit. Uh, let me just see. Nope, this is not good here. So this is gonna be point to our Z stack. And for our Z stack, we have to frame it. Oh, let me just see. Uh, no, it is good. Yep, on tab gesture. This is point to our the on tab gesture, point to our Z stack here. And then for our Z stack, we have to frame our Z stack. So frame with 200, the height 200. Then we have the clip shape it again to circle. Then we have the overlay. Overlay and for the content we have the circle. Dot stroke and we have the color of white. But here we have the opacity of 0 0.8 and after that we have a line red of 3. Yep, good. And after that, we have to set an offset for it. So offset by minus 140. Good here. Good. And we have the unchange here. So after that, we have the unchange. The unchange. Unchange of view model dot input image and if the view model input image changes you have to uh, call the view model dot load image so here it goes let me just show you the load image function that creates so the image is equal to you uh, an image of the UI image input image so uh and here we use the view model image so this is our on change so here we want to create we want to uh, show the user the photo picker here as you can see here so uh, this is a shit here so let me just create a shit shit is represented uh it is uh, the binding variable of view model but it's showing photo and for the content we pass the image picker and for the image we pass the binding of view model dot input image. So this is good. I think this is working now. Yep. This is good and I can select a photo. So here we have it. So it is just a matter that we create these pickers. So here we, it goes and I uh, 
create a new group here, views or view. Yep. So I uh, put the content view in the view inside the view. Yep. What is going on? Okay, let me just <coughs> put it back. Okay, I think it is good. Nope. Let me just see. The preview must belong at least one target in the current schema in order to use preview. I don't know. Let me just preview. I'm going to mm. Yep, good. So here in the view we have two we want to create our universal picker for this one and then we use the our universal picker in our label picker. So here we create a new search file named universal picker. So here we import the Swift UI and then we have a struct. And yep, this is the universal picker and it is confirmed to UI view representable. Yeah, we have a variable of data and this is type of the string, an array of string. And here we have the binding variable for our selected item. Each uh, picker that we used, so this is the string type again. And here we have bank make coordinator. And here we have the coordinator and we pass the data as data and so right now it's uh, it will references the refer to our coordinator to our uh, yep photo picture view here but uh, in me uh, later we gonna uh, create the coordinator class for this strike. After that, we have a punch make UI control UI view. So this is uh, the UI picker view. You change the UI picker view. So we created so let picker equal to UI picker view. Then we have to pass our data source to it. So context dot uh coordinator and then we pass the dot delegate here to it so context dot co coordinator again and then return the picture here this is it this is our making ui view then we want to update it so font update ui view and here we have if let index and then we have data dot uh, index i think or no, first index up and we pass the selected item here to it and then ui view dot row selected uh, select row and we pass index in component zero and animate the default. So basically, this uh, update our UI view, it to search in our data, uh, that data is a 
uh, an array of a string that search for our selected item here and then it's uh, return the UID to select throw and we pass the index of this select item and in this component and the animations. This is it. So here we want to create a class of coordinator and this is confirmed to NS object. Then UI picker view delegate and UI view uh, UI picker data source. So here we define our data again, an array of string, and we have a parent of it. So the parent will be our delegate, so universal picker. <coughs> and we want to initialize them, so again, I use underscore for the parent, and after the init, we have a bunch of functions. So here we have the function of number of components, we pass one, then function of uh, picker view, and then a uh, number of rows in components. Um, we pass the data dot count. We have, uh, for example, in our model, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten rows for this profession picker here because we pass data dot count. And here we have function picker view. <coughs> And I think we have the uh, view for row and for component and reusing. Yep, this is it. So here we have to define our view. So let's view equal to UI view. And this is, we have to frame it. So CG rect x and y, x0, zero, y0, zero. width would be a uh, screen uh, UI, I think, something like that. UI screen, the main, the bound, UI screen, the main, the bound, the width, and this is minus 100, and height would be 60. So this is our uh, view and we have to pass a label here to it. This is the UI label and we have to frame it. Again, this is uh, the view of bounds. The frame of the lab our label is equal to our frame of the view this frame right here is identic so here we have to define our label of text <coughs> equal to data and here we pass the row row is the uh, type of int here uh, the index of our um, the index in our data string so and after that we have to label the color x color equal to dot white. Then we have the text alignment to label the text alignment dot center. <coughs> Sorry about that. You can customize all of this. So label the font would be the system of size 22 and I think we pass the weight dot bold <coughs> and we have a view dot add sub view and we add the label to it and then we return a view here good and create another function so func and this is the did select uh, 
did select row and we passed the parent of selected <coughs> item. Equal to parent that data and we pass the row that it is selected. So this select row, this pass the uh, an integer for it. The integer is gonna be the index of that data. So we selected that. And then we have the picker view and web for component. We have the UI screen that main that bounds and the web minus 100 and last one function for picker row height and here we pass the 60. so this is it this is our universal picker and then we're gonna create a new file is within our view group swift ui file and display build uh, picker so you know label picker we have a z stack let me just create the z stack first so we want to pass some data here so variable of label this is a string type variable of data this is of the array of a string and we have we want we want to find the selected item to it this is a string type also so here let me just define it so for the label i say age for the data we pass the picture data dot ages and the constant and we pass when we define for example so in our Z stack, we have a rounded rectangle here. So a rounded rectangle and with the corner radius of 25. And then we have the foreground solve that clear. Then we have the frame it. So that would be 300 and the height would be 680 and we have the background and the background will be the black and we have the overlay and for the content we use the rounded uh, rectangle and corner radius of 25 again <clears throat> and here we have to stroke it so stroke that white and line red here it goes then we have another z stack z stack yep and here we have a circle the foreground style will be the black again and we have to frame it sorry about that yep the frame with 60 and I 60. So after that, we have the text for the label and the font would be the system size 24. And the foreground style with the light. And the font weight would be dot me. Yep, we have the age right there. So here, I want to set an offset for it. So x would be minus 150. Yep. Yep, that's it. Good. And then we have to use our universal picker and for the data we pass the data to it and for our binding variable we pass binding selected item and we have to frame it and that would be 108 
good. We have all of the data here. So good, good. So let me just go to our content view here and define our uh, codes. So here we want to create these two. So let me just pass it right after our color. So label labeled picker and now for the label i pass time and the data would be picker data picker data that professions and for the selected item we pass the binding of view model and selected profession here and here we have it so i set an offset for it and the offset would be x Five and y would be seventy. And another one, so labeled picker and for the label we pass age and data would be picker picker data at ages and we pass our binding view model dot like age here and we want to set an offset for it so x again 5 and y would be 270 and here it goes good is good good and yep and Great. So this is it. So let me just uh, build this project. Command and R. It's gonna build for us. So in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Press the dev, like this video, share this video with your friends. Hit the bell for the notification. And if you have any comments, if you have any suggestion, if you have any opinion, if you have any question, please write me down. Uh, write write it down in the comment section and yep check my Swift UI playlist on my YouTube channel also there's a bunch of good tutorials that you can learn a lot from it so this is our final app here we made it so I use H24 and iOS developer uh, for our my author i use this one so uh you can uh, connect the data to your backend and you can specify and modify it as you you need so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching until the next one practice until you make it and be safe bye bye guys